Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Grim Fandango. I'm a little pissed off right now. Because apparently, the game didn't autosave. So, <clears throat> I just spent the last hour redoing everything that happened in the last uh, last episode. Yeah, thanks LucasArts. It's not like I'm running terribly behind on video uploads. It's, it's not like I'm running out of ideas <laughs> or anything. I don't, I don't want to play this game anymore. I don't... I don't want to do YouTube anymore. What, what, what if the man in the suit is just... It's just a subconscious representation of my desire to quit and my belief that I don't want to. No! No! No, he's not real. It's not real. And... And I shouldn't be concerned with things that aren't real, things that don't exist. He's not real, okay? Good, we... We understand that. Good, okay. So, so we're just... We're just, we're just gonna keep going. Okay, I'm gonna try to not have a panic attack. And play the game like a normal person. It's not like my computer is already hot as magma right now. Oh snap, Jimbles, who are you? Oh, jeez. What are you doing here? Well, if you must know, it's about my wife. I got word that she passed away not long after I, and that she too was crossing the land of the dead on foot. It is said that all lost souls come to Rubacaba, so I came here to wait for her. Hmm. I'm looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. Well, no one's come through town by that name, and you can take it from me. I too am looking for someone. So I watch the comings and goings around here very carefully. Hmm. You must love her very much, Sonso. Yes, this is true. Of course, she also has all of my money. <laughs> that's a that's a funny joke. I didn't know your wife hasn't gone ahead of you. Oh, Manny. If she had arrived here first, surely she would have waited for me. Hmm. I'll help you find your wife. What did she look like? Oh, here. I got this from the DOD and made copies to hand out. Isn't she something? She must have been beautiful with skin. Weren't we all? Oh, boy. So, know a good place to stay in town? What's your price range? Somewhere around the high end of nothing. Then maybe, young man, it's time you started thinking about a job. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Pretty good. Can you give me a job here? Have any skills? Self? Well, that does qualify you for a certain position, but we only have one mom. I'm sorry, Manuel. I've got to get this place ready to open. Right. I'll let you know if I see your wife. She'll be the one asking for her beloved Celso. No, she won't. That's a good achievement I got. All the achievements in this game are just, are just directly linked to exhausting all the dialogue options. Okay. Here's the thing. There's a reason I fundamentally don't like this game. It's it's broken on a fundamental level, okay? Here's the thing. The, the thing about puzzle games, what makes a good puzzle game is making the solution obvious... Or, no, it, it makes the solution easy to figure out, but not too obvious that it's not challenging. So here's the thing. Uh, Morty, okay, here's the thing. Replaying that stupid. Where am I? I was supposed to walk off the cliff. Oh, I guess not. Okay. Uh, so... <laughs> so what you're telling me 
see is that I was supposed to fall off the cliff. I was, I was supposed to fall off the cliff. Oh, jeez, Rick, you're a real funny Jimbo, aren't you? You expect me to figure that out? All on my own, you expect me. Okay, yeah, that's real good. That's just fine all good and dandy. That's all. That would be, that would just, oh, it would be real good. This is, as soon as I'm talking about the solutions to puzzles being ridiculously hard to find, the thing with the sign, the thing with the sign, it's in a room with doorways that connect to each other in and out, in and out, and I bring a sign and it points in different directions. How was I supposed to know I was supposed to pick up the sign and put it where the arrow was pointing? Yes. Okay, so... I, I think I've, uh, I've uh, very uh, clearly expressed my opinions about this game. There was this one high-pitched whine it was making really grating noise, you know? And I searched Search, but I couldn't find the source of the noise until we pulled in here. Was it the blower? No, it was Manny screaming in the back like a cat tied to a cruise missile. Oh, <laughs> that's a good one. Hola. Hey, Manny, Doc Master Velasco here says he's got a place we can drive Dr. Ballwagon for a while. Oh, yeah. We can't leave a beauty like this out in the fog or her chrome will get pitted. Is that... Did you hear that, Manny? Is that... Okay, either I'm going crazy or that's Christopher Lloyd. Why are you looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar? Uh, I'm not too good with names. Do you have any distinguishing marks for a tattoo? Not that she showed me. Well, like I said, I'm as good with names as you are with the fog. <laughs> hmm. I might be here a while. Is there any work in this town? Well, there's lots of work down at the docks, but it's all union work. <laughs> and I just don't see you in that union. <laughs> all right. How do you get around here with all the mist? It's fog. Uh, when you stroll these docks as long as I have, Pilgrim, you know where you are by the smell of the sea, by the sound of the lonely foghorn, by the icy touch of the cold, salty air. Wow, man, could I have an eye patch? Okay. Can I just ask? What is under the eye patch? Because I know it's not an eye. Oh, well, when I was alive, I had an eye patch like this. This one's just for the phantom pain. And that one I saw could use to scream like a banshee when the trade winds blew, so I plugged her. Hey, Manny, we were in the middle of a conversation here. Hey, hey, okay. Okay. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. Oh, Figure it out, yeah. I definitely won't have to look up a walkthrough or anything. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm real good. I think I'll wait for the fog to clear before I try exploring town again. Oh, okay, that's just real good, matey. Oh, boy, you want to know what I got to do? I got to take the picture of Colette's wife, or not Colette. Whatever his name was. It's Celso's yeah, Celso. And I gotta show it to this guy. I gotta show it to this guy. And he'll give me a log book. Ever seen this woman? Oh, if this is the woman you're looking for, take my advice. Forget about her. She sailed out of here weeks ago in a cozy port side cabin built for two. And she wasn't alone. Oh. How do you know she sailed out of here? It's a tough break, Junior, but you gotta face it. Yeah, look it up in my board log if you want it in writing. Six weeks ago on a Tuesday. Ticket for two, paid in four. I cracked the champagne on the bow myself. Hey, Manny, we were in the middle of a conversation here. Hey, yeah. hey, okay. Look, I know how you feel, son. Once I lost a very special lady myself. I waved to her from the docks as she sailed out of port. 
and I never saw her again. What was her name? The SS La Mancha was her name. But don't make me talk about her because I, I just can't do it. Okay, so... <laughs> so I gotta... So you gotta take this picture. And you gotta give it to the port guy, and then you gotta get the logbook, and then you give the logbook to Celso, and then you get the mop. The mop job. And the walkthrough insults me for using the walkthrough. <laughs> like, he told me alone. He, he said I was bad for not thinking. Celso, your wife sailed out of here two months ago with another man. It's all in there. Oh, Manny, is there a greater constant in nature than the treachery of women? Forget about her, Celso. Have you forgotten yours? I'm going after her. You take over my job here. This mop at least will never let you down. That compass in the handle will sure come in handy, too. <laughs> Humorous. Year one. Oh, boy. Hot dishes. Oh, just, is that a cutscene that's not working? Ooh, that's some more caliente. My hands hurt now. Okay. Okay. Oh, so the border changed. Okay, so, uh, where am I? Oh, there I am. There's Manny. So, so my hands hurt now. Mmm. Ooh, they're gonna be real tender in the morning. But, so. Oh snap, is, is that Glaudis? Ooh, ooh, Hello, Manny. slick. Huh. Yeah. What's that you playing? Oh, this is just a little, you know, love song for a special lady. <laughs> huh. Sing a little bit of that song, why don't you? Well, I only have this part. Bonewagon. I like it. Hmm. Yes, real good. So, so we've been uh, so we've been uh here for for a year now. Okay, and no one's tried looking for us. Did, did they just assume we died from the beavers? Morty. Anyway, funniest man on the internet. Where's my plaque? All right. Um, what's up? Everything okay down here? I'm going to need some more chips if Monsieur Lucky does not call it a night so. Huh. Okay, so... What am I supposed to do now? There's like nine skeletons I can talk to. Mind if I sit down, Charlie? Of course not, Manny. I, I mean, it is your club, right? Uh, so what are you doing in it?
Hmm. All right. All right. Hey, 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 you know? Can you counterfeit? Nothing, anything. <sighs> so can you make passports? Manny, you still think like a living man in so many ways. No soul needs a passport. We are all citizens of the same nation, and our king rides a pale horse. So no passports? No. No, that little hologram is so tricky, you know? <sighs> How about driver's licenses? Sure. But just um, give me a recent picture, 50 bucks in uh, about two weeks, okay? When I think of something I need, I'll come back. I'm not a wishing well, Manny. Oh, <sighs> okay. Well, I've got a club to run, so... Oh, yes. Please, Manny. Get on with your glamorous life. So I, I I'm I'm kind of kind of well known in Ruva Cabra, I think I spelled it correctly. So, ooh, uh, oh Morty, ooh that that was a good one, Morty. So, hmm, so I don't know what to do. Do do I gotta go outside? Do I do I gotta do I gotta go to the outside building? What? The, okay, Morty. I'm, I'm drinking ginger ale. Okay, how do I... Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. It's not like I can't figure out where to go. Oh boy, I'm going out the door. No, I'm going out the door. Oh boy. This is, this is a real fun game. This is the type of game that I love playing. <clears throat> Is that what I was supposed to do? Ninety percent uh willing to bet that cutscene was very important. Okay, so I rewatched the cutscene and apparently <coughs> the girl I've been looking for got on that last got on that cruise liner and I fell off and it was pretty important to the story, so what do I do? <sighs> <sighs> Albert, what are your skills? Sales and restaurant management. Oh, hey, there is one opening on the Limbo's crew. Yeah? Yeah, it's in the engine room. And your buddy Glottis would be perfect for it, but he'd have to get his own tools. <sighs> okay, if I could Glottis some tools, can we board? Uh, he, he can, yes. No offense, Manny, but there's just no place for you aboard the Limbo. Huh? Who's the one guy who hasn't boarded yet? Well, Seaman Mirage is a little late. 
Hey, buddy, you'll be here before they snail. What job you got on the hat? Around the galley. Aha, restaurant management. Yeah, it's similar to what you're doing now. <laughs> Except the fish is fresher on the limbo. Ha! <laughs> Humorous. What if Naranja doesn't show up? I can fill the spot, right? Manny, you're not even in the Maritime Union. I know that, and you know that. But we're two guys who can keep secrets, right? Dronus is exempt, but the captain will ask for your card. And if you don't have one, they'll serve you to the sharks like chump. And what's worse, I'll get fined. That's a tough union, boy, and I don't mess with them. Okay. So let me get this straight. If I get Gladys some tools, then I can get him a job on the limbo. And if Seaman Naranja doesn't show up for work, but he will, and I get a maritime union card, which you'll never get, then I can sail on the limbo in the morning. Shucks. I guess so. Okay. What kind of tools does Gladys need? Authentic CB equipment only. Where do I get authentic CB equipment? Why don't you ask a CB? Afraid of getting stuck? <laughs> Where do you think Maranja is? Probably home with selected recipes for the trip. Okay. What's going on in that bottle? A tugboat? This happens to be a perfect scale replica of the SS Lumbago. I'm just having a little trouble getting the walking beam to fit in the neck here. Ain't that funny? Because a Lumbago is usually more of a problem in the lower back than the neck. Nothing. I better go finish packing. I, you do that, son. All right. That's all. Making progress. Making progress. Oh snap, boy! Oh, is that a CB? Hey, buddy. Don't sting me. Cold one, huh, Terry? Yeah, it's always cold when you're unemployed, man. Huh. Who's unemployed? Aren't you guys in the union? The union? After us little guys, they're run by the coppers. And you of all people should know, Manny, that the cops are in bed with the gambling joints. Huh. Hey, I run an honest joint. We ain't in bed with nobody. What about the protection money? We pay every week. On the nose, through the nose, like an honest place should. See what I mean? This town is just a big conga line of hustlers, all laughing and dancing and scratching each other's backs. Fair point. Why aren't you guys up there working? You don't know the deal down here on the docks, do you, man? If you want to get the jobs, you have to pay the unions extra dues. And that ain't cheap. We don't pay, and so they put us on feral food. Who? Why don't you just pay the union off then? We got our pride, man. We was straight stingers, you know? Not to mention we just don't have any cash to spare now that we're not working. I mean, it's like a problem. We're, uh... Uh, the solution that makes the problem uh, worse. Like a catch 22? Yeah, wow. I wish I knew boys like that. Okay. If the union is crooked, why don't you register a complaint? <laughs> That's a good one, Manny. Did you hear that, guys? He thinks we should register a complaint. Okay. Since you're not using your tools, think I could borrow them? We sold them to feed our families. And how are you ever gonna work? I, I told you things were messed up down here, Manny. I, I told you. Okay. If the cops own the union and gambling's in bed with the cops. Yeah, yeah, and then who really runs the gambling, right? Well, no offense, but uh, Max Amino is really the big boy in town, obviously. But word is, he gets his orders from some hardcore gangsters in Elmero. Yeah, that fancy cat track is really just a big laundromat, if you get my drift. Yeah, big old, big old money laundering hey, scheme. Can I borrow one of your union cards? What, are you kidding? You know how much I had to pay Chow Chilla Charlie to get mine? Okay. You guys know a seaman, Naranja? Nah, CBs and sailors don't mix. But you're in the same union. Well, maybe so, but some traditions are sacred there, Manny. <sighs> you bees are being exploited. You should do something about it. We're yeah, bidding gameplay. We We're just a handful of unorganized drones. We don't know nothing about nothing except just how to take it on a chin. <sighs> I think you're just a bunch of complainers. You don't know what it's like, man. Every day we come down here, we try and make an honest living. 
we find out that you gotta be a crooked bee to win down here. He knocks the pollen out of you, man. He makes you weak. You bees gotta be strong. Things just aren't the way they should be down here, Manny. It's like the worker bees, they do all the work. But we can't affect the, uh, the, uh... Ah, it's like the way that things are produced should be controlled by... I mean, we should... Ah! Forget it. Seize the means of production. Oh, oh man, uh, communism! B bless that, mm. bless that uh, USSR theme! Do it. Do do it, editing team. Just do it. It'll be a funny joke. Okay, that's it. I I give up. I I can't believe I'm saying this, but but I give up. I've never had a game beat me before. Okay, literally all I need to do. Wait, what's what's this? All I need to do is find my way back to my casino. This kid only leads up to the Lombada dock, and the Lombada's gone. I've got the lumps to prove it. Okay. All right. No, that's fine because I need I need to get back to my casino to get something from my office. This is the closest I can get is the port, but there's nowhere to go. I I can't figure it out. I've gone down every possible path I can think of. In every walkthrough, video walkthrough I've looked up, already did the step that I need to do before they fell off the ship. Have, have I soft locked the game? It, it's not possible, but if it is, I see. Here are the worker bees, and here's the stupid lighthouse, and I can't figure out what to do with it. Just go up to the lighthouse. There's, there's got to be something. Something I'm doing wrong. I've, I've never had this happen before. I like to consider myself a strong-willed person, but... I can't believe it. I can't do something as simple as find out where my stupid casino is. I... I've looked everywhere. Okay, look at this. Look at this. That's one path that leads to the blue casket. And boom! Here's a second path that leads to the blue casket. And don't tell me I can just walk through here. That little spot because I can't. I can't do it. I... I've never had this happen before. I, I always figure it out, but... This just leads to a dead end and I can't find my own casino this one leads to the dock this one leads to the bees in the blue casket and this one also leads to the blue casket so you know what I give up if someone can please just link me a video in the comments about where and how to deal with this I would be I would be extremely grateful I just how to get back to my casino. That's all I need. Oh, I give up. I give up. You win, LucasArts. So that's... That's it. That's gonna be it for this episode, everybody. I get... Thank you for watching, and I... Uh, see you all next time, I guess. Goodbye, everybody.